I don't want a lease option. I want a more serious traditional homeowner financing. So do I change the contracts to to be lease purchase and or owner financing, or do I have to get like new contracts for that? Yeah, it's a great question. So if the homeowner is like interested in something more than a lease option, then you have those two options available that come to mind right away. You have what I call the lease option upgrade, which is taking it to a lease purchase. Mr. Homeowner, I, I think I get where you're coming from, Mr. Homeowner. You, you want a, a stronger commitment. Instead of just the option to buy, you want like a commitment to buy. Is that is that what I'm hearing? Uh, okay, so if I change the paperwork to to instead of a lease for 24 or 36 months, and then and then we have an option to purchase. If I if we did a lease and then just a regular purchase and sale agreement for that amount, um, is that something that makes you feel more comfortable? And can we move forward today with that? Okay, so that's really the lease option upgrade so you're upgrading to a lease purchase in other words and that's how i that's how i present it to the homeowner it sounds to me like you you don't really feel comfortable with the lease and the option to purchase you are looking for some more commitment like you would feel maybe more comfortable with a lease and a purchase and sale agreement if i change the agreements to be a lease and a purchase and sale agreement is that something to make you feel more comfortable when we move forward the homeowner says no i don't really want that either i would prefer real true owner finance okay mr homeowner if we change the agreements to be true owner finance is that what we could move forward with today yes okay great now you've got a now you've got something you can move forward with on the owner finance side all right so that's kind of the ladder of stepping from lease option to lease purchase to an owner finance scenario but really it's all about where the homeowner is comfortable all right all right okay so that's the only difference is the lease option is a lease with an option agreement the lease purchase is a lease agreement which is the same with a purchase and sale agreement which we do have here in the club in the agreements archive there is a purchase and sale agreement or you could use a professional state sanctioned contract if your state has a, a realtor board realtor a, purchase and sale agreement that everybody in the whole state uses and everybody's in the whole state's allowed to use then you know you could use that that's what i actually would recommend that you can just get by googling all right so it, it if depends. it's owner finance though what are we talking about then we're still talking about that state's purchase and sale agreement and it always has in it or with it a seller finance addendum I will also let you know that in the agreements archive, there is a uh, there is a section called subject to agreements, and in there are all all of this stuff for the owner of finance. Okay, so oh, okay. yeah, so I mean we have, and then I've got other agreements that aren't even in the agreements archive. Okay, so if you need something in particular ever, that's what this club membership is about is if you need something holler because i probably have it and if i don't have it i'll try to get it and if i can get it i'll get it to you okay so i mean we you know i i want to be a support for you so if you've got a deal cooking or something man you need an agreement oh my gosh that's great news i want to help you.